disappear from the banner because she said she wanted to get to know me. She didn't. She just wanted to talk about you. Find out how I got to know you and stuff. Did you tell her? How my charm swept you off your feet? <laughs> you know, I, I told her you were like some new kind of fire paper. Then did you see the way she acted when you asked us both to go to dinner and I said she had an appointment? Oh boy, was she furious. She wanted to have dinner with you. She couldn't and I could. Thank you, so suspicious. Oh yeah, well so is Edwina. I ain't figured out exactly who she is yet. Charlie, put another double scotch in here, please. Watch out. What? You put your letter? Um, yeah, Tony. I don't need this. My place doesn't need it. And my customers don't need it. So what do you say we just knock you off early tonight? I'll give you that extra five minutes, and we'll call it 9.30. Tony, I'm all right, really. I'll I don't want to hear it. I want you to go home, and I want you to do some very heavy thinking. And then tomorrow, you and I are going to sit down, and we're going to talk about whether or not you still have a job here. Very proper to go out with another woman the night before you to be married. 
I can violate the confidence. I see. Are you still seeing Will Vernon? Yes. Have you told him anything about this? No. Why not? For the very same reason that I don't feel I can tell you. Oh, but honey, that's different. Will is a doctor. He's a very good doctor. He may not know what's troubling you, but I'm sure he suspects something is. And I'm sure he's wondering why you haven't mentioned it to him. Well, maybe you're right. I hadn't thought of it that way.
loves Larry very much, and maybe she'll see that you've matured now that you're a married lady. Think so? Yeah, of course. Hey, why don't you give Tony's place a rain check tonight? I'd like to see you look your best tomorrow. No, oh, I'll look my best. I won't be as pretty as the bride. I'll oh, go on. <laughs> Jen, it's going to be a wonderful day tomorrow. You're going to be very happy. I'm sure of it. Well, look who's here. 
How about a whiskey sour? You got it. Uh, is that on break? Maybe not a permanent break. What are you talking about? Tony Coyer drank in the center hall. Tell her he'd fire if he didn't shape up. Oh, what is wrong with that crazy dame anyway? Got me. Now, look, will you try and get some rest? 
Well, that ought to give you a chance to find whatever it is you're looking for. I am not looking for anything. And let me remind you, the last time that you're not in charge of my life, so why don't you just fuck off, Marco? Has anyone ever told you you're beautiful when you're angry? Inside. 
I think I'll buy you a drink. Good. Grab one county. Oh, why don't you 
you like me to try to drag it out of him? Mm. No. <laughs> yeah, there is one thing that I that you could do for me. Name it. Well, I, I wrote to your father. I, I sent him a note this morning. You know about the Oh yes, since I used to get on this day when it arrived. Well, did he say he was coming? Uh, he, he just said he hadn't decided. Do you think you could talk him into it, Sam? Oh. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Sam, please, it, it means so much to me and to Brad. What do you mean, to have the whole family together? Yes. I know what you mean. I will try to work it out. Oh, thank you. You know something, Jenny? Um, I, mean, I just want to say, I mean, I, mean, I have a chance to tomorrow because there are going to be all those people around and everything going on. I just, I hope that you and Brad were very happy. I, I know you're going to be awfully good for him. <laughs> What I mean is, I, I'm, I'm very happy that you're finally being part of our family. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Marco, aren't you just a little bit ashamed of yourself for taking advantage of Lana at a time like this? Taking advantage of her? I'm just trying to comfort her, Karen. You know, offer a little buffer, shock. Uh-huh, how? Oh, no. No, don't, don't answer that. You're going to warm her little bed tonight. A better way to make someone forget? You know, I'm willing to bet that by tomorrow she's going to completely forget Golden Boy Vernon. I wonder. Well, don't. I've told you many times. Marco always guarantees his work. I know he does. There must be something pretty special about Brad Vernon if uh, my sister, who's a candidate for sainthood, would consent to marry him. Probably trying to save his soul. What? <laughs> you remember that show where they had the Salvation Army girl who runs into this town? <laughs> what say? Did you just see Gold Boy Vernon with his tambourine singing breathing in the sheets? Lana, you're two months pregnant. 
You can't wait much longer. Oh, bad. Not going to be much longer. I wasn't playing her down, Brad. Take me. 
statement of fact. She was a nut, right? No, she was. So she's a very good Catholic. She believes in the sanctity of marriage, death, do us part, and all that stuff. Why? Yeah, well, what you believe in doesn't really matter if you believe in anything, which I seriously doubt.
Remember? No, I don't. 